My name is Ken Gunmin. I'm an artist. We are in my studio, Koreatown, Los Angeles. I studied painting and art history in South Korea. And I fled to San Francisco in 2001. And I study illustration in Academy of Art in San Francisco. So I study commercial art in my grad school. So after grad school, I got a job in Lucasfilm and I worked in Star Wars for 10 years. And then I came down to Los Angeles and I became a full-time artist. I went to school in uh, South Korea. So they have a very rigorous like, educational system. So I started very young. It's only focused on very detailed, the figurative paintings. And it's a, it's a blessing, but it's also a curse. So your thought process is very contained that small boxes. And I always wanted to get out of that boxes. So probably my early painting was very figurative, very detailed. Trying to still keep that in, in my background and also introduce something, let's say, something gestural expression on top of that. And I think that's a kind of strong combination to bring something in life. this studio I uh, met a lot of people you know workers and collectors and I got inspired from their story and their material they share their experience and their history behind it so I got inspired by that and one of the uh, the artist who passed away in Glendale and she was a doll maker and she left behind lots of crystal beads and fabrics. So I picked them up and I am still using that. So I feel like that her experience was handed down to me and then to my painting. It's not only just one person or one experience. I sometimes, you know, collaging and just juxtapose and here and there and just to make a huge kind of monstrous figure you can see from the back. That's a depiction from the conversation from the guy I met from the Gold Gym Hollywood. He's like huge and then he eat like protein every time. Probably he's preparing auditioning or something. So, you know, he was a very kind of, it's like a very masculine, but it's a very, also very feminine. So I stitched all the gathered conversation and material and just uh, create that painting. You know, I kind of depict everyday life maybe and then more focus on, you know, the small local people, event, conversation. And also I try to keep the distance from the painting and myself. So sometimes it just paint by itself and it find its own way by itself. I'm a big fan of not talking about you know, work because I, I'm a believer of the work has to be you know, talked by themselves.